Welcome to Wellspring Wednesday with your host, Oge Modye. Be blessed. This month's topic is the crowd situation. The crowd situation. So today, we'll be looking at one of the famous characters in the Bible by name Bartimaeus. He was blind, a beggar by the roadside, destitute and dependent on arms, just barely managing to get by each day. Life held no promise for him. The Bible says he was led out by sunrise to his begging corner and led home by sunset, nothing much to show. He wonders if there will ever be an end to this meaningless cycle. Our today's scripture is taken from Mark chapter 10, 47 to 48. And I read, And when he heard it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. All of a sudden, one day, Bartimaeus hears a commotion. Remember, he's been by his begging corner. A crowd is coming. As they draw near, he hears the chants, Jesus, Jesus. His emotions are stirred. Is that Jesus, the miracle worker from Nazareth? This could be his chance finally for help. He cries out, but the crowd shuts him up. He is an embarrassment, a shameful sight to behold. Jesus shouldn't be concerned with such nonsense. Not ashamed and not bothered. After all, he has nothing to lose. Remember, it's a bad situation already. He cries out again and again and again until he gets Jesus' attention and gets healed. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's just wonderful. Some situations in life bring shame embarrassment, mockery, and dishonor. You may be wondering, can things ever get better? Without a job, broke, addicted to drugs, forgotten, you can't afford the rent, betrayed, cheated on, passed over, crowd of situations surround you. I have good news today. Jesus is passing by. Yes, he is. Cry out to him. Don't let the situations drown out your cry or the shame shut you up from calling out to him. The crowd effect of situations can mute our voices and withhold us from our timely deliverance. Cry out, get his attention and get delivered. The Lord is near. Let us pray. Jesus, I might not be worthy. I may be broken. But I know that you can heal me. People say I am worthless. I don't stand the chance. But Jesus, I am calling you. Help me, Jesus. Deliver me by your outstretched arm. Amen. Amen. What is our charge? I'm taking it from the scripture, Psalm 148, verse 15. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Don't let the crowd of situations shut down your cry for help. Go on and cry out now, Jesus, have mercy on me. Go on, Jesus, have mercy on me. Say it again, Jesus, have mercy on me. Today also, I would like to use this opportunity as always to encourage you to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. And if you want to rededicate your life, just please repeat these words after me. Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you today as my Lord and personal Savior. Please come into my life and lead me to fulfill my God-given purpose in life. Amen and amen. God is for you. He loves you and wants you to come to repentance and not to perish. If you have said these words along with me, please find a Bible-believing church and get involved in living a daily life with Christ. God bless you so much for this decision. It's the best ever you can take in your life. God bless you. Today reflect on the crowd situation, which is our topic, and then cry out God's name. Jesus, have mercy. He will come and save you. He loves you, and so do I. I love you so much. Be blessed. If you need someone to agree with you in prayer, please call our prayer line 080 5070. 
08050700000. That's 08050700000. To know more about us and what we do, visit our website www.wellspringoflifeinternational.com. That's www.wellspringoflifeinternational.com. Connect with us on Twitter and Instagram at wellspring underscore life and on Facebook, Wellspring of Life. God bless you.